this, Chris Brugler is back. Yes, Chris, Chris is here. Brugler. The last time you were here, we had the opportunity to cook together, and we we're growing our own fresh vegetables and herbs in the back because, yes. you know, when you're trying to cook and, and, and be conscious of health and low salt and sodium, we always you know, enhance everything with fresh herbs. So I took right. you out into our herb garden, and this is This is this what is happens. Us. And instead of yeah, cutting, we we yeah we we were supposed to be cutting, early. but we were it cutting was, a rug. Yeah, no, I, I, we were dead. Telling you, Chris, I gotta we gotta talk, okay? We gotta it was, put some more hip yeah. action. Into it was it. early to be dancing. <laughs> It's a little yeah. hip, a little yeah. jalapenos out there to kick it up a notch, right? I'm, I'm more in the spinning, see? There it is. That's, yeah. good. That's my wheelhouse right there. <laughs> so we, uh, we're going to actually go back there, too, and get some more fresh herbs for what you're making today. You want to tell everybody Perfect. what you're doing? Yep. Today we actually are going to get some fresh basil for our um, summer tomato gazpacho. And we have obscenely ripe tomatoes here. It's very important to use the ripest tomatoes you can find and not canned. Well, exactly. But I wanted to ask you, you know, tomatoes exactly are not in season right now because it's a June, July when they're at their peak flavor. Correct. So the secret is to get overly ripe tomatoes? Correct. Uh, yes. Right. Okay. And you can add a little bit of sugar to sweeten yeah. them up. Yes. All right. That's a tip for the end, though. A little teeny bit. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Did you bring more bread for me? We have more holla. Ah, there it is. There it is. He's there it is. a holla king. Just had to get that in. Yeah. Uh, okay. Put him, put him on the spot on air in case he didn't. Uh, yeah. He's, yeah, that would have been committed. awkward. Right? Real awkward. Awkward. <laughs> I got some fresh herbs, oregano, some thyme, and some uh, chives. How much Parsley, thyme? Parsley, sage, rosemary, and tomato. Oh. 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 Speaking of thyme, we have to take a minute here to look back at what just happened. Because yeah. I can't believe Tracy actually laid down. I know we did this before, but Jen and I didn't get to see it because we were so busy. I didn't get competing. to see it either. You know. Look at this. Oh. Oh. Nice there it goes. Grinch. Whoa. Oh. Teach you to have curls. Yeah, exactly. Wow. I wouldn't have had she that much launched elevation. off of me. Yeah. That's where she yeah. got the height. Uh -huh. I, I must say uh, that is a flattering picture. Uh -huh. I will tell you, that <laughs> angle. We need the better. The lighting is fantastic. Yeah, it's just no bottom of those shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is nice. again. Is this me or is this is this oh. is it is it are we doing a replay of mine or is this of Jenna's? I guess none. We're not doing either. We're not doing it. That was that's a tease a right there. That was a tease. Oh Maybe for gosh. a later show down what? the road this summer we'll actually roll the tape in. May I just yeah. say mm -hmm. what I do for the home and family show? Of course. Lay down my life for you people. <laughs> <laughs> I lay down well, my we're gonna, life. We're gonna pay you with a nice <laughs> bowl of uh, the swatch on the here to die for. Oh my God. Chris is mm. here. Uh, look. Our herb garden is flourishing outside, so it was time to get a delicious offering and a spring recipe for a refreshing bowl of tomato gazpacho and manchego. Manchego cheese. Manchego cheese and rustic croutons. Chef Brugler is here. Beautiful. We can add chives that we can use. We for can this. definitely add that to the recipe. Now I love that you're making tomatoes. Tomatoes are not in season right now, but Correct. you came up with a way. If you don't have, and they're not in season, there's a certain way that you can use them. Can add a little bit of sugar to sweeten them. Okay, and you sure. use what? Uh, they look a little bit overripe to me. These were uh, blistered a little bit in the oven. Oh, blistered! Yes. I like that even better because even more of the sweetness of the sugar exactly. comes out of the tomato. Little char on it. Great. Okay, I love so, this spotcher. You guys, would, would you like to start? I started, yeah, but I just please. thought I. Chef, what kind of tomatoes do you use? I like to use vine ripened tomatoes, personally. Vine okay. ripened. Just yeah. asking. Mm. Okay. So I don't know what that means. it's important when you're doing the gazpacho to make sure that your vegetables are cold. Okay. All the way throughout. It's a chilled soup, okay? All right. So we're going to take our already cut tomatoes, oh. put them in here okay. to marinate. We're going to okay. take our marinate. cucumber, very important to marinate. Mm -hmm. All of our cucumbers, wow. our red pepper. This looks like great when all oh. the vegetables are in season for summer. Cause exactly. You and you can be creative. Tomatoes. You can put any kind of herbs. You know, I don't like a lot of onion in mine, no, so I, I just go a little bit. Garlic. Yes. How much garlic? A little bit of garlic. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. A little bit of garlic. Yes. A little bit, yeah. Keep saying yes. Yeah. Vinegar, red wine vinegar, olive oil. Olive and it's oil. very important to add um, bread because this is going to make it creamy and it's going to give you consisty. Oh. What kind of bread are you adding? This is sourdough that we're using Ooh, today. Oh, sourdough. And we're going to mix it 
Now you let it marinate for how long? Uh, you have to do it for at least an hour. Okay, so you're adding you, salt and all the salt and pepper the juice out. Of Correct. The, of the tomato. And you can actually, you know, you can let it marinate up to three, four hours. The longer it marinades, the better. The better it's going to be. So put all your ingredients in, give it a toss, mm. and you're going to let it marinate. I like to okay. Eat it just then like we're going to pull. Go for it. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you wash your hands? <laughs> no. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Then Christina, you know, over like, here. Oh, this has been marinating. This is marinating. Oh, look what happens to it. it okay. Look at the difference. Yeah. Yeah, it gets all squishy down like that from the marinade. Right. Wait, we have a magic refrigerator too? Yeah, we have yes. a yes. magic refrigerator. Yeah, you want to hear it? That's Listen. where the unicorn lives. Listen. Oh. Here it goes, here it goes. Oh. <laughs> it only gets the hair on there. I'll see you in a I love my magic kitchen. And one, okay. <laughs> one's a gazpacho marinated. You're going to then scoop it. Into the blood, and it's important to do this in batches. Yes. Um, if not, it's going to go all face. over, and that's definitely not right. what we want. Right. Um, lid, and you're going to give it a go. On. Go puree. For how and long? Then about 30 seconds, because you want it to be really fine. And what we're going to do over here. I'm going to turn it off, and over here I'm going to show you how to do an ice bath. This is just Ooh. a regular bowl with ice, and this is important to chill your gazpacho down. You don't want to add ice cubes to dilute it, so you're going to go in here. Make an ice bath. Boom, yep, and you can use this when you're making like a summer pea soup. It keeps it nice yes. and vibrant. Okay. Boom, there you oh. go, your ice bath. Ice bath. Now, I noticed that you are straining it with yes, this very because... Personally, I don't like the See, chunky bits, yeah. the seeds, yeah. and the skin. And the skin. Because so, the seeds But are some bitter. people do. Yeah. Some people do. I find it to be bitter, and the skins, you can't chew the skins. They get a little chunky in there. I mean, a little right. skinny. <laughs> a little skinny. The skin 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 skin. skinny. So well skin. said. Yeah. Does that mean if you yeah, eat it? If you I'm eat very it, articulate. You, Today, especially. Oh. Today if you eat it, then you get so, skinny, right? So right here, you're going to strain it, and then your final oh, wow. product is going to look like this. And this is all the pulp. And then what you're, you're left with the gazpacho in the bowl. Oh. And at this point, you can taste it, re-season with salt and pepper. You can add any kind of fresh herbs that you like. And to finish it, I'm going to take this. You know what I do with this, Chef? I use it in my compost. Oh, Perfect. Yeah. Great. To, yeah. Dude, we don't have idea. one here, but, you know, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we, need to we, we have to start one. I have one at home. But I, and to plate the gazpacho, you're just going to... Put it in the bowl. That's beautiful. And this can last, you know, if you want to freeze it, if you have any left over, it'll last up to a month. It's just very important that when you pull it out and you thaw it that you add fresh, um, give it a little bit of fresh olive oil, a little bit of vinegar, and some fresh herbs. Oh. Yeah, give it oh, a drizzle. I'm going to give it a little drizzle of olive oil. I love that. There you go. And you're going to top it off. And you have some chopped up veggies here, too. Right. And it's important when you're cutting your herbs, um, you're going to have to, I like to cut mine fine so you can get yes. it in each bite. So you can do this okay. step when you're in the beginning cutting your herbs so you're not repeating the process. So, and then could I put and in some. And hit it with a little scallions, yeah. Ooh, look, can I put in some of uh, my, we, my little yes, herbs, of, my oregano? Of, and, of course we you know? can. And then we need to add the, the cheese. The cheese. Now why do you use this kind of cheese? I love this cheese. Why do you use this kind of cheese? I I'm, love manchango. And Chango, it has yeah. a nice flavor. What do you guys think of this? Ah, it's delicious. Really? It's designed to taste yeah. it. There you right? go. I don't know where How where's easy this is. Where's the Oreo cookie in here, though? I thought there, we don't get an <laughs> Oreo cookie. It's a cookie. secret. It's oh, in there. It's in there? <laughs> it's in there. Oh, wow. Wow. Look that for is it. super <laughs> delicious. <laughs> I don't see but it. But that is really, really good, Chef. Mm -hmm. Thank all you. Of, Thank all you. of this is on our website, uh, home and fam our hallmarkchannel.com forward slash home and family. Yummy. You can find more of Chris's delicious and low in calories, dishes at cbcatering.com. As always, it's great having you here. Delicious. Coming up next. You ready? Yes. Rachel is ready. Eco expert Rachel Lincoln Sarnoff is here, and and of course Jenna is here. Here to I'm talk. I'm still here. About, she's still here. <laughs> Ways to green up your home. You're gonna get green. Yes. You're gonna eat. You're gonna get green. Green plates. You're gonna get green now.